Hey guys, this is Voxide and uh, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at creating some nice uh, split layer transitions and uh, I'm talking about this part over here where the text is sort of forming from uh, this uh, split pieces coming from the side. So we're going to take a look at how we can create this effect over here and uh, if you want to see how I laid out the camera and everything and uh, the lights the textures, the particles, you can uh, go ahead and download this project file. It's going to be available for download if you follow the link in the description of the video. And uh, we can get started. So I will make just a new composition. Let's uh, full HD, 30 frames per second, and let's make this 5 seconds. You can make it as long as you, uh, as, long as you want. So I'll hit OK and let's drop a text layer. So this will be transition text and I'm using the font is called uh, Gobold and it's available on the font.com a really great font and I will just center this text and first of all I want to make this text be as wide as my composition so I'll just roughly try to match my composition width maybe something like this and so here's the first step right we want to somehow split the layer into these uh, horizontal sort of lines. So what we can do for that is if you go ahead and download this HUD toolkit, which is available uh, a script that's available for free on my website. Uh, if you go over here, so I will leave this link in the description of the video so you can uh, go ahead and check it out. And here you can see how you can install the script. So uh, go ahead and just click download and you can uh, just easily install this and use it. And what I'm going to use this for is if I go to my GR tab, which is for grid, you can see here we have a function for splitter and the uh, size will just uh, give us, gives us uh, how many pieces we want. So in this case, I will use 15 pieces and you can also choose the angle, which in this case is going to be 45, but you can only use whatever, whatever angle you want. So for example, let's say I want to use uh, 10 pieces and an angle of uh, 90 degrees. If I select my layer and then press split, you can see now uh, it created 11, uh, it broke it down into 11 layers. And if I just solo one of these, you can see it's just um, a vertical sort of line. And uh, you can see everything is uh, broken up accordingly. So let's just undo this for now because we don't want to use an angle of 90. And I'm going to use an angle of 45. But like I said, you can use whatever angle you want. And let's say I want a little more uh, pieces. So I'll just uh, type 15 over here. And now if I press split with my layer selected, don't forget to have your layer selected. I'll just press split. And now we have successfully broken up our text. All right, so what we can do with this, you can kind of see if I'm just grabbing some, some of these pieces and I'm moving it around, you can kind of see everything is uh, broken up. So uh, the way we can animate these uh, pieces to come from each side is if I go to my layer and I will grab a null object and I will name this uh, text parent. You don't have to name, name it uh, this way, but it just helps to keep things organized. And I will press F4 and select all of my layers. And now I will make this uh, 3D. All of them, I will make them 3D. And now I just want to rotate this layer to match sort of the angle that we have for our transition. So in this case, I'm going to use a value of negative uh, 45 because uh, I'm just really just trying to match the sort of the angle that our um, pieces have. So you can see if I just soloed one, now I'm trying to match this uh, with my uh, text parent holder, uh, uh, null, sorry. All right. So once we set the Z rotation over here, now I can grab all of these layers. And uh, here's the trick. You just have to parent all the layers for your text parent. And uh, now I can actually grab this uh, text parent. And if I press S, I can just scale everything down. And you can see now if I go to P, I select any of these layers. So let's select some something in the middle. And I press P for position. I can then, if I adjust the Y position, you can see it sort of slides along the 
uh, between the text and that's because we've used uh, it's sort of taking the rotation that we set up for our uh, text parent so it's really important that you match your uh, text parent now to the same to have the same uh, rotation angle that uh, you use here in your splitter settings so I hope that makes sense alright let's actually undo this and uh, what I want to do now is have a sort of a split our layers apart and uh, I will just select every other layer over here and I'll explain why in a second so I will just select every other layer and I will grab all of these layers now and I will just uh, sort of separate them from the rest of the layers and now I can also add a different color for this so I will use uh, not blue actually let's use orange and uh, essentially what I've done is I've taken every other layer and uh, just sort of split them apart in my timeline so if I uh, hide these layers you can see we have selected su successfully selected every other layer so all the layers in between alright let's turn this back on and what I can do now is select all of my pieces and let's actually go to around uh, one second mark and press P I will set a keyframe for the current position position that they're at and now I will go to the beginning of my timeline and first I want to edit the first half so I will select all of my orange layers and for position let's just drag the Y scale just until they're sort of off screen and now you can see we've uh, created some animation with the pieces and for my second half I will select all of my layers and I will make them appear from the other part so I will just adjust the Y value over here so what we end up with will be this animation just gonna ramp preview this alright so we're starting to get the effect that we, we want and uh, now if I just grab all of these keyframes and actually just make this a little larger if I grab all my keyframes and press F9 now uh, easy ease will be uh, added to the keyframe so the animation will be smoother let's actually bring this uh, let's actually select all of my second keyframes over here and just bring this closer together make sort of a sharper animation let's actually just preview this real fast all right so uh, now we're getting a better result and uh, now only one thing is left to do if I just select all of my pieces we can actually go to this SC tab over here and we can uh, randomize the layers which will just randomize uh, which will just randomly offset the layers in your timeline so if I select a value of uh, negative 5 over here and 5 for max and press randomize you can see it sort of uh, offsets randomly the layers in your timeline so now we can uh, it just automatically creates some variation between the animations of your layers so now if I preview this you can kind of see we're getting the original result that we have and of course you can actually come in and let's say you want to readjust some of these layers you can just manually come in and uh, maybe delay some of these layers so for example now I'm grabbing this layer over here and you can see I'm kind of delaying it and uh, you know you can uh, give it some uh, hands-on approach and just uh, make it a more interesting animation which is what I did in the original project Right, so this is how I've created that uh, transition and I uh, just want to share with you guys a cool little trick for the optical flares you can actually make a new solid oh sorry so I will just make a new light right and I will animate this light to be zero and then move a few frames set it to 100 and then back to zero and I will just offset this a bit and uh, you can see the light is affecting the 3d layers and I can uh, select all of my pieces and if I go in each one of these uh, pieces material and uh, go to material options and turn off accept lights this will apply the effect to all of our layers and uh, now the light won't be affecting it so uh, now with my light selected let's make a new solid and I will apply optical flares to it and I will go here in options I want to clear all and I just want to use a glow and a streak for this and the streak rotation 
I will set it to match our angle, so 45 in this case. And I will set the source type to track lights. And now it's using our light to emit the, the flares. So you can kind of see it's sort of uh, taking our light and emitting. And what you can do, oh, let's see, uh, let's have my light selected. And basically what you do now is you're just trying to sort of uh, match the timing and the position. So maybe when some pieces are uh, starting to match up, some uh, flare can take can take place, uh, take place, sorry. Let's actually set this to 75, don't want it that bright. And I can just duplicate this a few times. And I will just move each of these around a bit. Maybe place them higher. Let's grab the second one and let's adjust this a bit. Let's grab the third one. Let's place this over here. And now if I select all of these uh, light layers, you can do the same thing with randomized layers. Or you can just, uh, since there are only four of these, you can just manually come and uh, adjust their offset just a bit. So you create some variation over here. So what we end up with, if I do a quick ramp preview, something sort of like this. Alright, so uh, I hope this gives you an idea of some stuff you can do with uh, the layer splitter. And also we have a bunch of uh, cool functionalities over here. So if you click on the HUD toolkit, uh, toolkit over here, it will just link you to my website where I have a tutorial for this, for all of the functionalities that you can use. So uh, hope you learned something new. And uh, let's see if I go back in my original comp. Uh, over here we just have a particular layer and I just added some uh, nice texture to your uh, to the text so I think that's about it so don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more tutorials and I will see you next time thanks for watching